So Gabe, we're all excited to hear um, your incredible testimony. Tell us what, from the beginning, what was your life like before you came to Jesus Christ? So I wasn't raised in a church. My family, don't, they didn't go to church at all. So with that being said, growing up, from starting at age about 19, I started selling drugs. I ended up graduating to a bigger drug and bigger amounts of drugs. I'm from Moses Lake. I was, I guess they were saying I was considered the biggest drug dealer in Moses Lake. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. With that, I mean, can you continue on telling us, I mean, with, with that type of lifestyle, a lot of things uh, come into that. Tell us, what was the next thing that evolved? So, you know, I was a drug dealer, never lasts forever. I ended up giving my, I started serving the Lord in 2011. I gave up everything. Started walking with the Lord. You know, me and my wife were on fire for the Lord. We started doing, we joined a Assemblies of God Church in Moles Lake and we started going a lot and our kids started getting involved and joined the youth ministry. And um, several months later, nine months later, something like that, I, um, the FBI and DEA came to my house and I was indicted for selling drugs. It was a long investigation, a two-year investigation. So previous for me getting saved, you know, I was selling drugs. And I um, went to jail, of course. And right when I went to jail, after they slammed the door shut on me, I fell down on my knees and I was angry at God, cursed God, told him how I felt, told him, you know, I've been serving you, I've been faithful to you, and this is where it led me. It's not fair, it's not right, and you're wrong, and I'm right. Then um, a couple of days went by, and I um, went back on my knees and asked God for forgiveness. And I told him, you know, if you're here with me, Lord, show me, give me a sign. Let me know everything's going to be okay. The next day, a lawyer came to visit me, and he asked me numerous questions. And one of the questions was if I um, was in a treatment, and I denied it. I said no, which I really was. I have... I checked myself into an outpatient treatment for a long time. And um, that, when I went up front of the judge, that was the reason why they let me come home. She said that I, she could see me turning my life around. And I came home, and I was battling this, um, my, my courts, you know, and my faith grew strong. I was looking at 10 years prison, I got sentenced to five years, and um, my faith grew stronger through all my trial, stronger, you know, and I, my parents got saved. My dad, he was, he's from Los Angeles, and, you know, he wasn't raised in a church. He, you know, he was more of a, like, a gangbanger type, and um, he ended up passing away, but three months before he passed away, he gave his life to Christ, and... Amen. Yeah. So he, he passed away of cancer, and, but him getting saved and giving his life to Christ is a miracle in itself. Yeah. And that's how I see that. And um, I ended up going to prison. And before I went to prison, you know, it, and I got saved, me and my wife, you know, I was out there in the streets doing bad things, being a bad person, just living the life, I guess. And my wife was always at home with the kids, and I'm sure she hated me. <clears throat> but... Um, it re, when I got saved, my marriage got saved as well. And I fell in love with her, and she re-fell in love with me like we first met, like the first time we first met. And, you know, we have six kids, and I was away, and the Lord provided for her. She did not go without. the whole, All those years I was gone, she did not go without. And that just... Being faithful to God, even though I was there, just prison life happens, you know, but keeping God as the center of my circle, he provides while I'm there and out here. 
and wait, there is more. <laughs> so he was talking about also that you received a healing. Tell us a little bit about that a couple of years back at the Race to Deliver conference, how you went there and go from there. Yeah, that's how I became how Hungry Jen. I got notified with Hungry Jen. I seen an advertisement on Facebook about a healing Johnny Chi conference. And I have sleep apnea. I got diagnosed years ago. And um, I went there believing I would get prayed for. I'm um, believing I would receive a healing. And I went there and I got prayed for. I stood in line. And um, months and months later, I had went to the doctor because I wanted to get um, reevaluated. So I did a whole sleep study test. And it came back. I was free from it. Wow. So. Amen. Now, they. For, for those that may not know how sleep apnea affects or it makes an impact on your life, I mean, you were waking up several times throughout the night. And for how long of a period did you have sleep apnea for? For about five years. And yeah, you would, I'd wake up tired, miserable, and headaches, stuff like that. Yeah. And since you received that healing, that hasn't been happening. You're doing really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. You guys, uh, this is just an incredible testimony of God completely transforming his life, restoring his marriage in just every area of his life. Come on, give God just some glory in this place for all of that. And Gabe, what would be your word of encouragement for those that are here today or those that are watching on live stream, even on Facebook, just like, you know, we had that advertisement, it reached out to you. What would be your word of encouragement for people here today that just need that hope or that step to take towards Christ? Um, you know, just be faithful to God and, and keep yourself surrounded by, by godly people. Amen. Um, be obedient to his calling because he speaks to you. Now, if you can't hear his voice, he'll speak to you through other people and keep yourself surrounded with other people. And, and for me, you know, even when I was in there, we would have inmate Bible studies and I would tithe to those inmates. Our currency in there was stamps, but I was faithful to my tithing in there as well as out here. And when I came home, a month later, I had four job opportunities. I had to pick between four jobs. Uh, I made. <laughs> I did not know this. Come on, there's more. <laughs> Through God, he, I made six figures last year, legally. <laughs> Come on, you guys, give God some glory in all areas. Come on, God, we're sword. Wow. That I did not know. So that is incredible, Gabe. Thank you so much. I, I believe you guys were encouraged today, believing that God can do anything. Amen. Amen.